I'd now like to call on Annie Keir. And just let me acknowledge Annie. Annie is one of the most brilliant strategic thinkers I've come across in many, many years of social organising. She is largely responsible for thinking out the strategy of this campaign. And not only that, she's rolled up her sleeves and made it happen. So fantastic welcome for Annie. We're here to celebrate community, a community that says no to coal seam gas mining. Through public meetings and by door-to-door -door survey, we have, by overwhelming majority, decided to declare our roads and lands CSG free. <laughs> At this point in time, our action has no formal legal power. It's a strong political statement. It has moral and social power. We celebrate the fact that we care for the water and land, for each other, our cattle, horses, and the platypus in this creek behind me. We care for our springs and creeks and the life they support. We're united in our rejection of this dangerous, invasive industry. We're here to tell the story of how we did this. But before we do that, a few things must be said. The miners sit in offices in Beijing, Amsterdam or Sydney. They have wealth to influence public policy. They can run ad campaigns. They have lobbyists on their payroll former national ALP and liberal politicians who give them access to decision makers. With their enormous influence, these corporations have distorted our democracy. But these companies and their lobbyists will never have what we have here, a different kind of wealth. I'm looking at people who volunteer for years on their local fire brigade who work and volunteer to keep their local halls going, who do fundraising for the preschool, who get together and get the trees off the road after a storm, who look after each other's kids and cows and each other. People for whom the reward is a sense of connectedness and well-being. The company executives and their lobbyists care nothing for this. They have mining capital we have social capital. During the past few weeks, as we've created our CSG free community, we've shown we're rich in this priceless wealth of community. And it's really amazing what we've seen happen in this community in the past few weeks. The mining companies and their friends in politics lack something else too, a sense of place. To them, valleys are what you drill through to extract money. But for us, these hills, valleys and these creeks and springs and farms and wild places are important to us. We're standing at a place where three creeks join they come from the flanks of the Wollumban caldera. Look at how they're drawn on this oval. From Mount Nardi, Tundabul Creek flows, sometimes slow, sometimes fast. Terrania Creek emerges from the old growth forests. And over here, Rocky Creek, cascades over rich volcanic soils created when Wollumban blew its stack. 20 million years ago. These creeks join to flow through Kirong, one of the loveliest valleys you'll ever see. Just the sort of valley the gas miners want. Arrow has a capped exploration well just five kilometres down Kirong Road over here. They intend to come back to that well to get it to production. I invite you all to pause for a moment to get a sense of this place. Take a breath in. Oxygen created by these plants and trees, 
All of us standing here are now connected by breath to this landscape. That breath you took did not have benzene in it. At the moment, there are no gas wells flaring off gas and toxins from the coal seam. At the moment, dangerous chemicals are not being pulled up from the coal and discharged into the air to hang over our primary schools, cows, pastures, veggie gardens and rain tanks. Unlike the gas miners in their distant headquarters, we know everything's connected here. We know groundwater connects to surface water because we see it in our springs. Our dams overflow in huge rains. We know the so-called holding ponds will not safely contain vast amounts of toxic salt water the miners want to pull up from the coal seam. The way the miners come is sneaky. We were not told when they were given exploration licenses over this whole beautiful Northern Rivers region. We were not aware they do secret deals, failing to explain that it's not at one gas well you get, it's a gas field, a network of wells, compressor stations, pipes and dams, spreading risk across the whole landscape above and below ground, risk to the aquifers. Because the legal system and our governments have failed us, we've been on a steep learning curve. We're fortunate to have some great champions in Kirong and others who've worked hard to raise the alarm. Yes, it's fantastic work that they've been doing and it's, incredib it's an incredibly hard job at the early stages to raise raise an alarm and wake us all out of our slumber and that's what, what, that's what our, our, our friends from Kirong and the other action groups have done. We've listened to farmers from Tara and Chinchilla tell their stories. We feel immense sadness hearing what's happened to them. Well, we're, annu we're announcing today that we reject this reckless industry. We won't have it here. <laughs> This is what we did. Help your community lock their gate. We started with a public meeting where we watched a film. Then we proposed that we close our roads and lands to coal seam gas. And to this proposal, 119 hands raised in affirmation. Only one was not sure and not one hand was raised against. We said, not everyone's here. Let's give everyone a chance to have their say. We formed teams each with a road coordinator to take a DVD and a survey to every household. When the outcomes came in, we were amazed. 432 people responded when asked if they wanted to close their road to CSG. One said not sure, two said no, and a staggering 429 said yes, that's over 99%. Has there ever been a community this united on one issue? In Kirong, they had a slightly different process with the same result. Their well-publicised public meeting was unanimous. They voted to close the Kirong Valley to CSG. With this majority decision, we've now put signs on our roads that say, gas field free, protected by community, Lock the gate, lock the road, protect the region. We're sending a message to the gas miners and their friends in politics that the social contract they speak of exists only in their imaginations. There's no social contract here for this destructive industry. By celebrating today, we're not being naive. We know this battle isn't over. Arrow will come back to Kirong. The industry will try to possess the Northern Rivers. But what we're saying is, we won't abandon the people of Kirong, Casino, Drake, Grafton or Kyogle to this. We may live on the high ground of Wallace Road or Dorabi, but we know we're all connected, like the aquifers beneath us. We encourage other communities to do what we've done here. The secret is genuine neighbour-to-neighbour -neighbour engagement. A gas-filled free road sign is of little use unless there's a strong community behind it. 
You can get tips on how to go about CSG Free Roads by going to csgfreenorthernrivers.org. There you'll find examples of meeting plans, surveys and leaflets. It's not just rural people who need to mobilise fast to take action. People of Sydney, learn about what the gas miners want to inflict on you. If they have expiration licences where you live, create a CSG free community. People of Brisbane, turn on your kitchen tap. Think about where that water comes from, the ground it runs over. Open your fridge, think about where the vegetables are growing, where the milk comes from. If you drink water and eat food, this is your fight too. People of Adelaide and Melbourne, think about what's happening to the Great Artesian Basin and toxic brine being discharged into the source of the Murray Darling. Remember the last drought. You know the priceless value of water. This strategy has gone viral. Our neighbours in Danoon have organised a meeting and unanimously decided they want to go CSG free. And they're doing the survey on their roads right now and in Wyamwyan. And now their neighbours in Dorabi have a meeting planned. This CSG strategy is spreading up and down Dale across the landscape to our north the good people of Tunnable Falls have done the survey on local roads. Next week, meetings are planned for Nimbin and Goolmangar. Rock Valley citizens are doing their process. Plans are afoot at Ewingar and Drake and Treg Eagle. We want the whole Northern Rivers declared CSG free. everyone to go to CSG Free Northern Rivers to take the pledge to protect our region from coal seam gas mining. When you do that, you'll see that this strategy we've done here is one of five pledges you can take to defend the region. There's something for everyone. No CSG! No CSG! No CSG! No we think this is a really strong message to those mining companies. Don't come here. This community is too strong for you. Don't even try. <laughs>